would you say that these big bikes, although they look great, mm. but mm. are they really suited to the kind of stuff that you're doing as well? Revelator L. Well, I, I think there's, I think there's a, there's a whole debate in in there. There's the big bike, small bike debate. If you look at, like, take a, take an Austin Vince perspective, you know, Austin Vince, big bikes, bad. Small bikes are the only way to go. You yeah. know, take another perspective, which says, oh, the yes, the BMW is the king of the the king of of the adventure bike world, and it's the only way to go because you've got all your luggage yeah. and everything. Like to, to me, I don't care really. I, I love motorbikes. I love the whole two wheel adventure. You know, whether yeah. that's messing around on a on a scooter, like we we did the Sony Pass the other uh, last year in Africa. It's a pass that goes from Lesotho, the kingdom in the mountains, down yeah. into South Africa. It's it's a horrendous pass. It's an incredible yeah. it's an incredible journey to do. It's only about twenty kilometers long, and yeah. yet it takes hours and hours to do it. And we met some guys coming up it on scooters, Vespers, yeah. you know, wheels yeah. this big. And in on the Sony Pass, the holes are this big. So, you know, I was just like, wow, how cool are you guys? That's so cool. You know, yeah. and so for me, to have, you know, to me, I, I don't, I, I'm not against Harleys. I'm not against big bikes, small bikes, yeah, you yeah. know. Uh, and and, and so, so I don't take a, a heavy stand on it. What I would say is that, you know, if, if, I, had, if I had my, my KTM 450 in Africa doing the trip that I do every year in Africa, there's some parts of that trip uh that would be incredible on that ktm i would yeah. be back and you know thinking wow this is so cool yeah. and you know and you know, it, it would be absolutely made for it like you know part, part of the the cedar big for any yeah, south yeah. africa there's parts of the cedar big in south africa what awesome parts of namibia in the sand fantastic but after you've done that bit and then i've got like you know yeah. 300 kilometers of pretty straightforward gravel uh, you know, with with the occasional twist and turn, I'd be sitting on, on that KTM going, yeah. ah, ah, vibrating, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> and 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 on on a on a seat that's like a, a blade, isn't it? Basically, yeah. And I would be pretty uncomfortable, but I can do all of that, all of that together on the on on, on the twelve hundred on, on yeah. the BMW, all of it. I can do the sand, I can do the the muddy river crossings, I can yeah. do the gravel ascents, descents, I can do it all. Fine, the KTM yeah. will do that bit better. The little KTM will do that yeah. bit better. But I know I can do the whole trip from Cape Town all the way up through yeah. the Sea Big, all the way across into Namibia, right through Namibia, down into Botswana, across into Zimbabwe, and finishing Victoria Falls. I can do yeah. all of that on the BMW or or, or the 800 yeah. XCA, and and I'll, and it'll, and it will perform amazing throughout it all. Yeah. I'm a reasonable off-road rider. I'm, I'm not yeah. a good off-road. I wouldn't say I'm a good off-road, but I'm pretty reasonable. Maybe even a little bit more than than the average. But yeah. but and, and I would say if you're going to enjoy the GS, you need to have done a little bit of off-roading. You need to have done a a, a school at least, like yeah. you know, Davies Off-Road School in Wales would be, you know, the, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but once you've got that little bit of skill. You know, it's incredible what them big bikes can do. And so I'm not. A, I don't take a bit. I don't take a big hard stance on the big bike, small bike. No. At any bike. My my garage has got it. You know, Charlie Borman always says you need a bike for for each of your moods. You know, and <laughs> it's all about having a bike that you want to use yeah. on that particular occasion. So so and and I think it's a trap also. Like like I think it's a trap to get too hung up on the big bike, small bike thing. You know it. Revelator L.